Ukraine-Russia war and the global food crisis. Question 1 Explain how Ukraine-Russia war and sanctions imposed on Russia affect the global food industry in general. Due to the Ukraine-Russia war, there were many sanctions imposed on Russia affect their business activities. Moreover, Russia and Ukraine provided 12% of the world's traded calories, such as more than 25% of the wheat and barley as well as 75% of the sunflower oil traded from there. Due to the Ukraine-Russia war, the supply of fertilizers such as wheat and corn will decrease while the prices will increase. This will cause the supply curve shift to downward right, the demand curve shift upward right while the quantity for wheat and corn will decrease by shifting leftwards. Based on the results shown in the below, the price of wheat and corn are changes more than 15% from February to March 2022 which the Ukraine and Russia war started. Since the invasion, the grain and oilseeds exports from Ukraine have mostly stopped and Russia had limited the exports of its own fertilizers and crude oil or natural gas. This will result in increase in fertilizers price and higher fuel costs from what caused higher production and transportation costs, as well as higher food price. Question 2 Explain how the Ukraine-Russia war and sanctions imposed on Russia affect the price of chicken and chicken supply in Malaysia. First of all, Carmilo Ferlito, CEO of the Center for Market Education, claimed that problems with the domestic and global supply chains, such as the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine and a rise in the price of raw materials, are to blame for the rise in product costs. Russia and Ukraine are major producers and exporters of these products, which are essential components of animal feed, particularly chicken feed. As we have already seen, the price of chicken in Malaysia was significantly pushed upward by the rise in the cost of chicken feed last year. The price of animal feed and, indirectly, food and other prices in Malaysia will be under even greater upward pressure as a result of the conflict in Ukraine, in short, due to the cost of chicken feed increase. The price rises from P1 to P2, and then the supply curve shifts upward and the quantity of chicken supply drops. Next. Government had set a new price ceiling to control the price of chicken in the market. The new ceiling price of RM9, 40 per kg that was announced by the government went into effect today. The purpose of the government taking this action is to avoid the middlemen manipulating the pricing. However, setting the price ceiling may cause deadweight loss, which is the shaded region above due to the shortage of chicken in the market. Furthermore, Government also gave subsidies of RM1, 1 billion. The aim is to lessen the burden of those chicken breeders and traders. Assure price stability. These actions were successful because there is currently an excess of chicken available. And prices are also below the government set ceiling price of RM9.40 per kilogram. Although Malaysia's chicken supply is still less than what is needed for domestic consumption, it is anticipated to stabilize starting in June. Question 3 Increased chicken price in Malaysia would result in changes in the supply and demand for production factors of other alternative industries. What are some instances of labor and capital that would be severely impacted by a rise in the price of chicken? A chicken price increase will affect the production factors of some industries who produce or supply the product mainly based on chicken. First is chicken rice hawker. When the price of chicken increase, the cost of input increase. In order to retain their loyal customer, hawkers might choose to maintain the chicken rice's price. Thus, hawkers compelled to reduce production costs such as reduce labor wages, laying off labors. Besides, hawkers' business might face a shutdown situation at worst situation. In short, the labor force in chicken rice hawker industries will reduce because some of them might lost job and switch to other industries such as beef hawker. The second labor force in chicken farmer industries will be affected. Shortage of wheat and corn supply globally lead to the increased cost of chickens breeding. In Malaysia, the cost of chicken feed increases from RM500 per ton to RM1900 per ton. Government-imposed price caps have resulted in very low profits, losses for chicken farmers. Therefore, the labor force in chicken farmer industries will reduce. In addition, the labor in chicken exporter industries will be affected as well. As an illustration, there will be a shortage of chicken supply when there are fewer chicken farmer and less demand on chicken due to chicken price increase. Due to deficient chicken supply in Malaysia, Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob said that Malaysia will no longer export 3.6 million entire chickens. This will affect those doing chicken exporting's business to a lower profit. To run the business, they force to cut off workers. Thus, the labor force and chicken exporter industries will reduce and they might change to other substitute industries. Come to capital perspective, higher chicken price led to less output and less supply. However, 
The chicken breeding's factory still need to pay for machine rental even though they are not fully utilizing the machine to feed the chicken and come out with the maximum output. This situation will cause the production cost exceeds the profit generated. As a result, the chicken breeding factory will shut down and the machine will leave over there. We explain how the alternative market is impacted and how the supply and demand are influenced. When the price of chicken increase, the purchasing power regardless consumer or business will become lower. People will have to use more money to purchase chicken. In such situation, people would tend to switch their preferences to other alternative goods like pork, beef, and fish when the price of chicken rises. Let's have a look on two independent market which is chicken and pork. The increase in the price of chicken will lead to supplier supply less chicken due to less demand on chicken. Therefore, the supply curve of chicken will shift upwards and the quantity of chicken in the market will reduce as well. So, people will tend to find some alternative type of meats that can replace the chicken for their daily consumption. The alternative meats can be pork because chicken and pork both contain similar amounts of macronutrients. Thus, when the demand on pork increase, it will shift the demand curve upward and also it will lead to a higher price of pork and a higher quantity of pork in the market. It is because the excess demand of pork and deficiency supply of pork. The increased demand on pork product has increased the pork price rise for fifth times in Savile within one year which rise from RM20 per kg to RM30 per kg. Next come to chicken and beef market. The idea behind it is the same as that of the chicken and pork markets above. When the price of chicken rises, it will lead to a shortage of chicken and people will tend to demand more beef than chicken, shifting the demand curve to the right. The price of beef will increase at the end when there is a surplus of demand in the market. In essence, it will be an endless cycle where people always switch to alternative meat substitutes when the price of a particular meat is rising. Question 4 how would you explain the influence of chicken prices on the fast food businesses and the factors of production in the fast food sector in Malaysia? Based on the 2021 Dining and QSR rankings data from YouGov, the results showed that the top three best fast food restaurants are McDonald's, with 50.9 scores following with KFC, with 46.9 scores, and Pizza Hut, with 40 scores. Therefore, the demand for chicken in Malaysia is higher compared to other poultries because food made from chicken is essential as every race in Malaysia has no taboo on chicken. KFC is the biggest victim in the current situation because the main product of KFC's focus is fried chicken which means chicken act as an important role in company sales. The chicken price increase and made KFC decrease its supply of fried chicken because of a rise in the production cost. Thus, a shift upward in the supply curve of KFC and result in the equilibrium quantity of chicken will decrease. Based on the diagram besides, KFC showed the changes in the price of their most favorable chicken meal as well as changes in sales in Asia from the first quarter to the second quarter of 2022. The result proves that KFC Malaysia has set up the price of menu items due to a rise in chicken prices. Therefore, the sales also decreased due shortage of KFC's products and the shifting of consumers in Malaysia. McDonald's, as the competitors of KFC is less affected and has different alternatives can be chosen. Many fast food lovers shift to McDonald's due to the limited stock of KFC. Moreover, the demand curve of McDonald's shifts upward and results in the quantity demanded greater than the supply and McDonald's might hold back supply to stimulate demand and increase the price of products. Referring to the diagram above, the price of McDonald's products also increases about 1.13 to 1.15% because of excess demand. But fast food lovers did not concern about little price changes and willing to change their taste from KFC to McDonald leading to sales of McDonald increasing by about 0.052 billion from the first quarter until the second quarter of 2022 but decrease for KFC. For the factor of production on the fast food sector, first of all, land. As the price of chicken goes up, the fast food business tends to import less materials for food production such as oil and commodities from overseas due to high production and transportation cost. Next, labor. Because of rise of chicken prices, the businesses in fast food sector will decrease their operational cost which reduce the number of workers due to increase in production cost in order to retain profit. In addition, capital. Fast food business has difficulty to afford maintenance fees of building and machines because the rise in chicken prices. Therefore, this had caused some fast food business to shut down or rent out their machines. Last but not least, entrepreneurship. The rise of chicken prices has huge impact on entrepreneur lead to shutdown or lost profit in business due to less revenue earned in fast food business. That's all from our group. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.